Hi, I'm Alice with Downsize and Make Sense or DMC for short. And if this is your first visit with us, Larry and I are mid fifties empty nesters and we have sold this house and we are moving full time into our RV in three days. Uh, if you haven't been following along, we started a vlog about 11, uh, 11 days to go to full time. And now we're on day three. And my topic is about his and hers and specifically door number one and door number two. You know how it goes. There's always a bigger closet and who deserves the bigger closet? Vote for me. Okay. So this closet is Larry's. And as you can see, we're down to the wire. We don't have that much left. We're still taking showers in the house. So we still have a lot of our clothes here and wait for it. Da -da -da. This is my closet. You can actually get in your closet. Hey, I walked into yours. It's a walk-in. But anyway, so I've actually already moved a bunch of stuff and gotten rid of a bunch of stuff. I tried to find a picture of how packed it was before because it was packed. And I don't know, maybe I was too embarrassed so I never took a picture. I knew we were going to do this. I should have taken a picture, but I didn't do it. So what I'm going to show you today is just like in a house, our RV has two closets, two size closets. So once again, who do you think should get the bigger closet? Because bigger is better. I wanted to say, will it fit? But Larry took that for his vlog the day before. And I will let everyone know that was my idea. So. Um, I'm going to start moving this stuff. There is a slight hitch. Um, we mentioned earlier, our bedroom slide is not working right now, but we will have a video once it's fixed telling how Grand Design is stepping up and they're helping us out. So it's going to be pretty funny to see us fit our clothes in that bedroom when we can't get to the dresser. So eh, it's a little different. Okay. So what I'm going to start doing is taking things and moving. Okay. Okay. I know what you're thinking. I got to downsize and I promise I will soon. Okay. One quick note. This is not an Instagram moment. You are not going to see one of those pretty, really decorated nicely RVs. This is reality. We have three days left. We're a mess. We're shoving stuff in. So if you can't handle it, avert your eyes because here we go. Are your eyes open or closed? As you can see, the slide is not open right now. We can't use the dresser. So look over here. You just can't get to the dresser. Okay. Oh, I can't, it's a Tempur-Pedic bed. I can't on, do it. Man, you can do it. Come I can't on. do it. Come on, work, oh. baby. Come oh. on. Come on. Oh. You, you got it. Come on. Okay. Open up. Come on. Oh, it's not staying. It'll stay. It'll stay. You just gotta. Uh, there you go. Good. Now you got it. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. So come over here. Okay. So once again. This is the bigger closet. I've already put a bunch in here and I actually have these nice little baskets that fit perfectly in those drawers, but I can't use it right now. I already moved these in because this is basically my undies and my bras. Y'all don't need to see that. No, no. And this is uh, Larry's closet. He can't even get in. <laughs> Look at that. I can't even get in there right now. That sucks. But if he doesn't take up all that room, I might put some stuff in there too. He doesn't, he knows that now. That's not gonna Yeah, happen. it might happen. So when we first bought the RV, I had the little closet and Larry had the big closet. So you know I took control and dealt with that. And yes, I'm out of breath, but look how fast I am. And you see how far away my RV is from the house and I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, let me explain. In Florida, 
It's 80 degrees one day and 50 the next day. So I can't do the, okay, let's put the winter stuff away or okay, it's winter, put the t-shirts away. So I have to have everything available. Okay, so that is a justification for having way too many t-shirts, way too many tanks and way too many winter jackets, but I gave it my best shot. Uh-oh. This is why I wanted my tag to be, will it fit? Um, I still have a whole thing of t-shirts put in here. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to downsize again. You're actually out of breath. I am. <laughs> this is tiring. Okay, let's go get more stuff. Now, please be nice. I know you guys are gonna be tempted to put little comments like, did you count how many shirts I pulled off? I mean, we did fast forward it, but you probably could still count them. But I have a reason for having so many shirts. It has to do with my encore career as an online teacher. Maybe just another justification, but hey. That's very cute. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Okay, you know what we need right now? What? We need some thumb some thumbnail faces right now. Okay, let's do. No, too cute. No? Too what? Cute. How about like you know you're you're tired you're you're stressed you finally got it in there now face okay that's good how about like a crazy stressed out face there you go that's the way I'm looking for <laughs> how about this hugging my clothes yeah, there you <laughs> uh, okay there are three main ways that I downsize my clothing Goodwill of course eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Okay. I know I got a lot of stuff, but guess what? See all these empty hangers? I had more. See all these shelves? I had more shoes. Can you keep a secret? There are more shoes in the RV. I had a ton more purses. I just kept to black, brown, and white. This box really should be on the bottom here, but I can't get to it now. Or, I think what I'm going to do is just for now is put it down here. Oh, that's a good idea. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> Bam. So, master bath, quite ridiculous, let me tell you. Um, toiletries. What I did is I got it down to, these are the things I use the most. So I put them in these little handles, you know, pull in and out. This is everything else I have. I mean, this was full, this was full, this was full, this was full, this was full. This closet was full. And I, I, I done good. I got it down to this pretty much and this. Very proud of you. Believe it or not, those little baskets with the handles, I got those at the Dollar Tree, the real dollar store where it's just a dollar. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut that. I don't know what that was. I tripped. Okay, so. Okay. Bathroom. So under here, they actually have some pretty good storage and this is pretty much where I put my special little bins, they fit perfectly. And I have another one that can fit right on top of there. If you want to film down there, did you get it? Yeah, I did. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, Scrappy loves me and follows me everywhere. But today there was bombing testing in the Ocala National Forest and she was right on my heels the whole time, poor girl. Okay, so I'm thinking about, you know, obviously once I can get stuff in here, I have more room down here. But what we might do for right now is put some like double stick so these don't move around and just leave them here for just now. I'm not really sure. And what's in those? Girl stuff. <laughs> you don't need, I'm not opening these drawers. There's secret stuff in here. I don't get to see it either. So I, I'm mid-50. I put all sorts of 
creams and magic lotions everywhere. Okay, so this is it. Let me go ahead and put this down. As, like I said, not an Instagram moment, but it fits. But wait, we have a surprise for you. We are going to be interviewed on this Nomadic Idea podcast. So please check out this Nomadic Ideas podcast, not just to see us, the but the 13th. No, not the 13th. Yeah, oh, the that's 13th. his first one, the 13th. Okay. So just a little surprise. We always got stuff going on. Um, and I'll just say it one more time. Downsizing does make sense.